couple of things that can really affect how your document looks. One is hyphenation. For example, here the word demonstrations has been hyphenated. Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of that, so I want to be able to turn that off. The second one is spelling, because you want to be able to show that you're professional enough to be able to spell words right. Now, at the moment I need for hyphenation, I need to get the paragraph windows up. So I'm going to go to Window, Styles, Paragraph Styles. And you can see here that this is based on the basic paragraph, which is the only style that I have available to me at the moment. I'm going to double click on that to edit it. Now if I go down this side here, you'll notice that I have hyphenation here. And I'm just going to uncheck hyphenation to turn it off. And if I go OK, you'll notice that that actually changes the, the layout of the document. Now it does mean sometimes that um, you'll find that there'll be less space here so that the text will actually go over the page. So you should do that fairly early on in your document so that you can space out the rest of your fields so that they're um, easy to read and you don't end up with all these extra pages. Um, the other thing would be spelling. So if I go here to edit spelling and I just go check spelling that will bring up my spell check and I can do things like I'm going to um, change that to iPod and I'm going to change now that comes up as an actual spelling error here now that's actually pretty much a standard word now so I'm going to add it to the user dictionary you'll notice here too that my language here is English UK and you can change that by going to spelling dictionary and change the spelling that you want it to. Now Australia is based on the UK system so you should have English UK and not English USA because we spell things like centre differently. Um, all the RE words, all of the Z's specialisation rather than specialisation. Um, so that's really important that you get the country right there.